Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and one of the things that uh, we will be looking at in this video is uh, what do we know that's going to make it to the 22H2 build of Windows 11, the next Sun Valley 2 update as they call it. What's going to be like? Uh, what's the release date? So the first things that we know is that the release is stated to be second half of 2022. That's why 22H2 exists. Um, you know, second half is a very long time. It could be, you know, in August, it could be in September, it could be in November, in October. It, there's no set time uh, officially yet, but it is the second half of this year. The uh, update itself, and by the way, 21H, 22H1 does not exist and will not exist as this is a once a year major update. And that is only the version that's going to get a update to its uh, version number. So 21, 22H1 or 2 or whatever. So it's 22H1, uh, 22, sorry, 21H2, which was the first version. And now it's going to be 22H2 which will be the second version, 22H1 does not exist um, as, there's, as there's no big update there. How will it come? It will be a big update. So instead of being a small enablement package like we have right now, when we get updates and it's just, you know, small cumulative update coming up, it will be a whole big new feature update. So this will be like a big update like we've had in Windows 10 when there were some really big updates. Now, what we know here is that this should be much faster to install due to the new way Windows 11 actually has of being much more efficient in its downloads and updates uh, to different uh, cumulative updates and to different versions also at the same time. What we know is going to be there in the 22H2, possibly, of course, um, a little bit of changes in the start menu, more space for the recommended sections and the pinned apps. So these are gonna be a little more customizable, I would guess. Um, folders, that will, of course, give you the possibility to have your apps uh, all pinned together within folders rather than have them all uh, side by side. There will be a possibility, apparently, like for example, with Office apps to possibly open a, um, an app, like a, a Word document, for example, into an online version of Office, like, you know, Word Online, for example. So uh, this is gonna be something to check out. The other thing is drag and drop capabilities for the taskbar are coming back. You'll be able to drag an icon and just put it on the taskbar. Something that a lot of people have been asking, it's uh, finally going to be there and uh, you'll be able to uh, just drag and drop the files into uh, app spin on the taskbar. So uh, all of that is gonna work. Um, you can also drag apps to the taskbar to create shortcuts. The task manager, of course, has uh, an update um, that is showing up, which is a new way of actually giving us information and the way that the task manager is working. So you'll have, of course, uh, the uh, panel on the left side now. And you'll have, of course, run new task will be in every panel, by the way. And uh, you'll have a new way, of course, of, course, of um, you know, handling all of that and the performance and uh, all the tabs of uh, the different task manager windows. More information also will pop up uh, at the top here for information eventually with uh, you know the computer that's being used and all the information needed for that computer um, that you will want to um, to uh, check out so revamped task manager uh, that will be coming and some new features in there um, that will be uh, possible also uh, in the task manager, there will also be additionally new um, options that you will have that you can put, you know, apps in echo mode, to, like save energy and so on. So there's a few little things like that that are going to be there. There will be there will be new flyouts for different things, like for example, volume control and stuff like that. You see, there's a flyout here at the bottom, in the middle of the screen, rather than these regular flyouts that were there before. 
Dolby, Dolby panels, for example, if you're looking at videos and you minimize them, there'll be a fly out with a panel with a, you know, a, a pause button or move forward or if you're listening to music, stuff like that. Uh, apps are going to have a new pinned experience. So we already knew that there were a lot of pinned options for pinning um, apps. But in there, there's going to be new choices. So you see here, there's more choices than ever to pin apps uh, together or snap apps, sorry, uh, together on the screen. So that's going to be nice. There's a new optimized tablet mode taskbar with more spacing between the icons. If you use a tablet, it's going to be a little better. So this is going to be uh, nice. There will be a Windows update. We'll have a new feature that depending on where you live and if it's available, the Windows update feature will actually be able to throttle when Windows updates and when things happen according to the amount of energy it uses depending on the time. So if uh, your uh, utility company um, partners with Electricity Map or uh, Watt Time, the um, information will tell Windows when to install stuff, when to do things to save energy, stuff like that, new features like that. So um, there's, there's, you know, it's not that it's that big of an update, even though it's going to be a big update. And of course, there's all the bug fixes that have come through from the start of Windows 11 until when it's going to be released uh, that are going to be in there. So um, that, that definitely will be version 2. And like I said in a previous video, even though there are new things in here, um, well, it is going to be still missing a lot of stuff that people want. So um, hopefully from now until the release, maybe some other new stuff could be added. Uh, technically, it's not impossible, uh, but we'll see what, all, uh, what happens with this uh, for Sun Valley 2 coming up later this year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.